Hi, this is Mike Brightman, author of the SketchUp Workflow for Architecture and creator of the Condoc Tools. Today I want to take you through some of the new improvements and new features that we've incorporated into Condoc version 2. So first off, we have a brand new website and uh, explains the product and all the benefits. And then probably most importantly, we have an all new support page. So on the support page, we have a ton of new tutorials and also support for uh, Spanish, English, and French. So also included in the new resources are some new models. So let's check out, we've got the uh, renovation scenario. This is our existing condition uh, and existing conditions model. And then we've got a proposed conditions model for the renovation scenario. So everything is all set up for you. It works perfectly with the uh, Condoc version two and everything's layered so you can really understand how to pull this all together. Now, the other model that is new is a spin on the, uh, the SketchUp Workflow for Architecture townhouse project. So uh, we turned it into kind of a single family residence and uh, this is all set up for you as well. So just kind of nice to have those projects that are pre-built, layered the way they should be and incorporating all of our new layers. All right, so let's talk about some of the new features. So first off, here's our Condoc toolbar and you'll notice you've got an extra button now. So that's our perspective view. So this works uh, very similar to the elevation and section tool. If I want to add a perspective, uh, you notice that the guy is standing on the outside of the house. I just click once and that's going to add a, an exterior perspective. So there's perspective one and then we'll add one over here. There's perspective two. Now check out what those look like. It's forcing on shadows. It's applying a style. It's triggering, triggering layers to come on and off and there's perspective two. All right, so it's kind of nice because it adds that that uh, presentation type style and shadows and everything without turning it on. So it's it's not going to like jam up your model and slow you down. So you can go through and add a bunch of perspectives. Now check this out. If I go inside, uh, typically for interior SketchUp views, oftentimes the ceilings are rather gray and dark. So if I hold Control, notice that my guy jumps inside there. I'll click once to add that and now you've got perspective four so the settings are optimized for an interior perspective when you hold control kind of a slick new feature on the perspective tool all new perspective tool all right so now uh, another improvement that we've made is if I were to delete perspective three uh, we'll just delete that guy and so now you can see we've got a gap between perspective one two and then we're missing three and then four so I'll go back in here uh, let's go to look over here at our kitchen maybe or let's check out our staircase all right like that and now I want to add another perspective I'll hold control and you can see that it adds perspective three so that's pretty slick uh, it fills in the blanks for you same thing happens on the elevation tool and the section tool okay so let's hop back outside I'm gonna go to my design tab uh, zoom extents and we're back outside. Now let's talk about uh, construction documents versus a design packet for just a moment. So typically a design packet, uh, or I'm sorry, construction documents are really a design packet just presented in a different way with a lot more annotations and notes. So if I look at under extensions, Condoc settings, I can choose whether I'm creating construction documents or design packets. So let's add three or let's add uh, one elevation and one section as a construction document and then we'll switch over and do that using our design packet settings so I can add an elevation right there so there's our elevation one you can see my shadows are forced on uh, we've got that specific style and then we can add a section cut maybe right there so now section AA and elevation one that's in our construction document style now, if I go back into my settings under window, I'm sorry, extensions, Condoc settings, I can switch this to design packets. And now when I add an elevation over here, we're gonna get a color elevation. And if I add a section cut, we'll go to our section cut and add that section plane in there. And we're gonna get a color section cut. So there's section BB, you can see it's also uh, naming and numbering for us. Elevation two, section AA, 
and Elevation 1. So very quick and easy to switch between, you know, uh, design packets, construction documents, really allows you to use the Condoc tools throughout the entire process, uh, even in the beginning when you're creating these quick, quick uh, layout presentations. All right, so now let's go back to all on, design, and we'll get our camera parallel projection uh, checked off. We'll go to perspective. Okay, so we want to take a look now at the plan generator. So this is some really exciting stuff in here. We've got our same deal, new construction, renovation scenarios. But now we've got uh, functionality for a basement. So if, you're, if your uh, project has a basement, you just check that on. All our scrapbooks align with the basement as well, so you're all good there. And then we've added some new drawings here. We've got a foundation plan and a presentation plan. So uh, just like you're able to create those presentation style elevations and sections, we also have the ability to create a presentation plan. So uh, we'll, we'll create our construction plan, foundation plan, and presentation plan. Uh, this project has four levels and those are all set up. Uh, and briefly, let me talk about the renovation scenario as well. Over here, you've got the demolition plan this creates, uh, if you're in the existing conditions model, it creates the existing conditions plan. Um, and again, you've got presentation plan. If you go to proposed conditions, you can create those drawings as well. So uh, lots of new, new options, new drawings, and everything has really just been cleaned up and optimized. So I'm going to show you some more of that when we look at our scrapbooks. So let's see, we're on a new construction scenario. We're going to make a foundation plan and a presentation plan. We'll do a roof plan as well and our construction plan. Uh, roof plan has some major improvements. So, okay, let's go to setup project. And we've created all of our scenes and we don't need to make those uh, scene thumbnails. And just like before, you can see if I scroll down, we've created all of those scenes. We've added all of our section planes. So you can see those and we'll turn those off. Now let's take a look at our foundation plan. This is huge. We have a new layer called foundation and you can see that if you just model it, you, it generates a foundation plan, that dashed line that you want to see. So we've created this all new dashed line style and what that does is it opens up a ton of opportunities not only for the foundation plan but we have completely simplified the demolition plan and also added the walls below in a roof plan come in dashed. So it's all automated, really slick, really clean. Just a huge improvement having this dashed line style. So uh, that's our foundation plan dashed. And you can see the roof plan as well, roof plan dashed. That's pretty slick. So those walls come in as dashed laid over the existing roof plan. All right, so... Let's now, uh, what else do we have in there? Let's jump over into layout. So I'm gonna save this as, uh, save as, desktop temp, we're gonna call that new construction, we're good there. And we're gonna hop over into layout. Now in layout, first thing you'll notice, we've got all of our scrapbooks 100% completely rebuilt from the ground up. Not only are they rebuilt, but they're completely optimized. I've, this is the third time I've rebuilt these scrapbooks, and every time I do it, I learn a ton about how to really simplify the system, make it run faster, make it more usable, and much cleaner. And that's what we've done for version two. So on our, this is our demolition plan. Let's drop in a quarter inch demolition plan for level one. And we're gonna relink this back to that uh, renovation scenario model I showed you a little bit earlier. First thing you'll notice is that the scrapbooks are much easier to select. Some of the version one scrapbooks were just, you had to kind of click on geometry. We fixed that. Also, all of your scrapbooks are gonna come in with a level number and a drawing name and a diagram that kind of indicates what this drawing is all about. So building that cartoon set is rather easy and clear um, compared to version one. All right, so uh, also all of our scrapbooks now include a 16th inch scale and a one inch equals a foot scale and the corresponding scales as well for the metric scrapbooks. So that's slick and then furthermore, each scrapbook addresses 10 different levels whereas the previous scrapbooks only addressed four. So major improvements there on our scrapbooks uh, just as far as efficiency, speed, clarity, everything much better. 
All right, so there's our demolition plan. We're going to relink our demolition plan with the, the renovation scenario. But let's add a sheet just for dem, uh, demonstration purposes. And we're going to go to construction plan. Now, on the construction plan scrapbook, we've got, uh, you know, all your scrapbooks are going to start at level one. So if you go backwards, you've got a basement, and then you go back again, and you've got your foundation. So I'm going to add a uh, quarter-inch foundation plan on this page. We'll go to our roof plan, and you can see level roof of your construction plan scrapbook. We'll add a quarter-inch roof plan in there. And then I'm going to add a sheet, and we're going to go to our presentation plan because we want to see that one work as well. So here's our presentation plan, and we're going to drag and drop a quarter-inch presentation plan in. All right, so now we've built our cartoon set, and we're going to go to our file document setup and relink these files. So let's just take a look here, uh, relink this file to our design model, and then these guys get, get relinked to our... Um, our renovation scenario. So proposed conditions, let's relink that to our proposed conditions model. And then we're going to relink existing conditions, relink existing conditions, and then you'll see those guys drop in. All right, so first things first, let's check out this demolition plan. This is really slick the way this works. So just like before, you just got to kind of find your drawing and scoot that around. I'm going to rotate it. 90 degrees clockwise like that and position that on our page oops so here's our stretch that out okay looking good so you'll see that that dash line style completely dynamic that is really really a huge improvement you don't have to explode the existing conditions model in order to make it dashed in layout and also then in version one we had this kind of uh, PNG overlay that gave the illusion of dashed lines but this dash style really opens up that possibility so now you've got your existing conditions all showing in dashed and then you've got your proposed conditions on top with new turned off and that's what gives this existing to remain is left behind you know shown dashed so very dynamic as you delete walls they'll show up dashed in your demolition plan uh, everything is linked and very clean so the other thing that's nice about this is that we only have that one viewport for the existing conditions and then we only have two viewports for uh, proposed conditions so it's just a much simpler way of creating that demolition plan and it just works way better so that's a huge improvement all right so now let's go back to our document setup and we've got these other files now I want to relink these to my uh, my new construction scenario so that's on our desktop temp and we've got new construction all right so we'll relink that and then we need to relink these other guys to that same file as well so we'll relink everything back over there we go all right, so we'll navigate to this next page, and let's see what we got. So here's our foundation plan. Check this out. All of your hatch, all the dashed lines, that dashed line style is probably the biggest biggest deal in, in version 2. It just really made things better and uh, opened up these possibilities. So now we've got our foundation plan. Everything comes in dashed. If I move that footer in my 3D model, my 2D diagram is going to update. If I move this wall, all my hatch, all my line work, everything scoots over, and then I adjust my foundation under it, everything is dynamically linked. There is nothing broken on this drawing. Very, very ideal for creating your construction documents in here. All right, let's go to the next one. This is our roof plan. So again, that dash style kind of creates this uh, nice clean look of a roof plan. Roof plan is kind of the site plan. So you can see here we've got our dashed walls below uh, of the roof. All right, and the next plan is going to be our presentation plan. And you know what? I added the level one presentation plan, and I hadn't quite finished that one out. So let's just trash that, go back to level two, because I know level two has a lot more finishes on it. And then we're just going to relink this to our design model. 
and there we go. So you can see how quickly you can move around and uh, add drawings, relink models. It's really no problem if you know you make a mistake building your cartoon set. All right, so we'll stretch that out and check out this this setup with the presentation plan. So now you get that kind of marker stroke style. You get some, so you can see the marker stroke that breaks up some of those repeating textures. Uh, then you've got the sketchy line work. Even beyond that, you've got this nice, thick, solid black hatch for your walls. And then you've got nice, clean vector lines for your doors and your windows. So really, uh, just a nice blend of, of uh, styles and, and settings in here, all pre-optimized for you for these uh, presentation plans. So another huge uh, new feature, new addition to the drawing set. All right, well, that's that's pretty much the overview of everything that's been updated and improved in version two of Conduct Tools. Uh, as always, I uh, look forward to hearing from you and let me know what you think about it. Uh, always interested to hear your ideas and your thoughts. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching and, and subscribing to the Conduct Tools, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.